Hello, my name is Sydney Warren out of Howard University, and today I will be discussing breast anatomy. From CDC.gov, about 9% of all new cases of breast cancer in the United States are found in women younger than 45 years of age. I believe that the age requirement for getting a mammogram should be reduced due to the woman under the age of 45 being diagnosed with breast cancer. Here is a diagram of the breast anatomy. Milk duct transfers milk to the nipple, which is right here, and the nipple has pores to allow milk to pass through. The areola secretes oils to keep tissues moist and lubricated. Mammary glands make the milk, and fat protects mammary glands and gives breast their shape and size. The breast also has three types of milk. First, we have colostrum, which is first milk, and is yellow, thick, sticky, contains nutrients, and is high in antibodies. Four milk is full breast milk. It can be bluish, watery, and contains lactose and proteins. High milk is near empty breast milk. It's yellowish, creamy, and fat. Now, suckling is a term that is also referred to as breastfeeding. Nipple mechanoreceptors send the nervous signals to the hypothalamus, which triggers dopamine, and the anterior pituitary, which then releases prolactin in the milk gland cells, which results in milk synthesis, which is the production of milk. Suckling also stimulates the hypothalamus in the posterior pituitary, which triggers the release of oxytocin in the myoepithelial cells, which results in milk erection, which is the release of milk. Now, in relation to the statistic and my belief, for women who are under the age of 45, it is important to know that some breast exams are early detections of breast cancer. First, always be your own advocate. 